Welcome back. Just a moment ago, I was showing you how to recode into different variables using both the menu, going up here to transform, recode into different variables, and I also showed you how to type it into the syntax. Now, when you're doing the recodes through the menu, it does not allow you to add value labels. Remember, value labels are those little guys down here that actually print out what it is you're talking about besides just the, the number value that we've assigned it. So when I made this age four, and I put it into four groups, and I called them, this was my little notepad from before, I had 14 to 31, 32 to 41, etc. And I just called them one, two, three, four. So when I run this, it's still one, two, three, four. Do you need value labels? No. Uh, I find it's good for data management, just sometimes you're starting to work with so many variables, it's hard to keep track of which numbers mean which one, especially when you're getting to opinion scales, and you're trying to remember, okay, was one strongly agree or was four strongly agree? And that can really mess you up if you don't keep track of your stuff. If you're just recoding and you're gonna turn around and compute it into something else or recode it yet again, it, you might get away with not having the value labels and not have to worry about it. But generally speaking, I like them. And the only way that I've found so far is to put them in through the syntax. So if you don't like working in syntax, I'm sorry, guys, but this is what we're going to be doing here. So here's the syntax of what I just did before. Here's the original variable. Here's we recoded it. Here's the new frequency. Now, when I do value labels, I'm going to type them down here so you can see it a little easier. Generally, though, I put them up in the recode line because most of the time I type my own recoding syntax and I just type down. I start typing there so I can do my recoding with my variable label and my value labels all together. You don't have to do that though. It can have its own line. And I just type in value labels. If you type it slow enough, SPSS will give you a little options box. Value labels, either way. And then you type in the name of the variable you're working on. So we're age four. Again, it's not case sensitive. And then here's the process. You type in one of the values. It doesn't have to be the first one. You can start with four. It doesn't matter. So we type in the first value, which was one, space, single quotation mark. And then you type in whatever you want. So I'm going to say 14-31. And then you close that single quotation mark. You give it a space. 32. I'm sorry. Two is my next one. Space, single quote. And then that's age 32 dash 54. You could type out through if you don't want the dash or however you want to do it. Space. 3 is my next value. Space. Single quote. And that was 42 through 54. Single quote. Space. 4. Space. Single quote. 55 through. Actually, it's just 55 and above. And then close that single quote. Put a period at the end to indicate that's what I'm done doing. And then when I want to run it, I just highlight this one line, and I'll click my oh, green arrow there. And there it tells me it has added the value labels. Now I'm going to go back into my syntax. And keep in mind, normally, I have this sitting up here. So I keep all my recoding and variable stuff together. but doesn't matter where you put it. I'm going to go ahead and rerun the frequency for our new variable that we just made before. Before I go ahead and look at it, just keep in mind this is the old one, 1, 2, 3, 4. And now we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, but we have our value labels in place. Again, I'll just go over and look at this here. The process was value labels, space, name of the variable, space, one of the values, doesn't matter which one you start with, space, inside single quotes, whatever you're going to call it. You can have numbers, letters, symbols, etc. Space, and you just keep this process going until you reach the last one and you put a period at the end. That's all there is to it.